So Danny, can you tell me a little bit more about the new CAT equipment? Yeah, Edgar, of course. Now, Caterpillar made the biggest changes several years ago. The majority of the iron in this machine is the same as the previous model. Uh, that's great news for us. With so much proven technology, you're looking at some of the most reliable products ever introduced by Caterpillar. You mentioned that the engines in the 175 to 750 horsepower range really hadn't changed that much. That's right, that's right. They were uh, retuned to reduce particulate matter. That means the changes to the after-treatment packages are focused on NOx reduction. Let's follow the flow of the exhaust as it leaves the engine. First, some of the emissions are oxidized by the diesel oxidation catalyst. The diesel particulate filter traps whatever particulates do enter the exhaust stream. And if soot builds up, the active cat regeneration system activates and removes it. This regeneration is automatic, so the operator really isn't involved and the, the work cycle is uninterrupted. Sounds like the Tier 4 interim solution. It does, yes, but remember, in Tier 4 final, the engine reduces the amount of particulate matter that reaches the after-treatment system. Really what that means is the regeneration doesn't happen as often. You may notice the regeneration system runs at startup not to remove soot, but to warm up the new selective catalytic reduction system. So this is where the diesel exhaust fluid comes in. Yeah, that's right, that's right. The diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF uh, for short, is it's a combination of water and urea. And it's used uh, on all equipment with engines between 175 and 750 horsepower. Engines outside this power range may use a different technology. DEF is injected into the exhaust stream. The water evaporates and the urea turns into ammonia. The ammonia mixes with the NOx and enters the selective catalytic reduction system. The catalyst in the system causes a chemical reaction which converts NOx emissions into two products, nitrogen and water vapor. So there's some new technology to keep track of. Yes, yes it is. But here's the good news, Edgar. Caterpillar made it simple. About all you have to do, really, to maintain the engine and the after-treatment system is to fill the DEF tank every time you fuel up. It's just that simple. Hey, look, do you have any more questions uh, about the diesel exhaust fluid? Yeah, so you said that I should add DEF. Whenever I fuel up? Yes, yes, that's the best way to go. Uh, your engine needs two things to run. Of course, diesel fuel and DEF. So, if you fill up the DEF tank every time you fuel up, you'll always be ready to go, buddy. You see, the fuel tank and the DEF tank are sized proportionately. That means that if you start with full tanks, you'll empty them both about the same rate. What if I run out of DEF? Well, it shouldn't be a surprise because there's level gauges in the cab. But if you run out of diesel exhaust fluid, your engine will lose power and then idle or shut down. Think about it this way. If you run out of fuel, your engine shuts off. If you run out of diesel exhaust fluid, same thing, your engine shuts off. What else do I need to know about DEF? Well, uh, I'll tell you three things. Uh, first, DEF can freeze in cold temperatures. So when you shut off the machine, DEF is emptied out of the line so that they don't freeze between shifts. Now, in cold weather, uh, the DEF in the tank will freeze, but there's a heater in the tank, so at, at startup, the, the DEF is thawed automatically. The, the machine takes care of that. Second, it's very important to use the right kind of DEF. Uh, the CAT equipment is designed for commercial grade DEF. That meets ISO 22241-1, and uh, you can get it at, at fuel and, and oil retailers anywhere. Third, and this is going to sound like common sense, Edgar, but you want to pay attention to contamination control. I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about, but walk me through it. Sure. Start by cleaning the DEF tank filler cap and the uh, area around it. Now you're ready to open the cap and add DEF. You want DEF as clean as the day it was sold, Edgar. You don't want to fill up the tank using any kind of dirty container. And uh, that includes the funnel that you use. It's just as important. Use a clean one. Also, be careful filling the tank. Uh, you don't want to overfill it. Uh, DEF is, is corrosive to, to some metals and you'd hate to mess up that nice paint job there. Finally, you want to clean up any DEF spills immediately. Sounds pretty simple. 
Well, it's just like hydraulic fluid or uh, diesel fuel. Keep it clean and you keep it running. Also, if you need a reminder, your machine's operation and maintenance manual has plenty of information on DEF, uh, including the contamination control and the proper storage. Yeah. Did you say the engine might keep running even after I turn it off with the key? Yes, sir. Uh, it's one of the changes that Caterpillar made to support the after-treatment system. It won't happen very often, but if it does, it's completely normal. When you turn the key to off with Tier 4 final equipment, the engine may continue to run for a time in, in order to cool down the exhaust system. If you have an emergency that, that requires an immediate shutdown, turn the key all the way to the left. But make sure it's an emergency. Forcing an engine shutdown may damage the after-treatment system. Okay, anything more I need to know about the shutdown process? Yes, uh, there's been a change in the battery disconnect procedure. Uh, the reason is, now in cold weather, uh, diesel exhaust fluid can freeze. So you need the battery to operate the pump that moves the DEF out of the lines and back into the DEF tank. Pay attention to this light. It is the wait to disconnect lamp. Do not turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position until this lamp goes out. If you disconnect the battery while the wait to disconnect lamp is still on, you may damage the after treatment system. Okay, so turn the key off and let the engine run. Right, right. And do not disconnect the battery until the wait to disconnect light goes off. I believe you got it. Any questions? No, nope, I think I'm good. Good. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, Danny. Yeah. So tell me, what do I need to know about Tier 4 final regulations? Well, Edgar, nobody, of course, likes to talk about regulations, but um, well, I'll sum it up this way. Tier 4 interim rules focused on cutting particulate matter emissions. A Tier 4 final reduces the amount of NOx allowed. The good news is that there isn't really a lot to learn to use the equipment. Caterpillar has made it as easy as possible to operate. So what's changed? Well, uh, let's start by talking about what hasn't changed. Um, for instance, the majority of uh, the iron is unchanged from Tier 4 interim. Tier 4 engines and after-treatment packages quickly became the most reliable generation of machines ever introduced by Caterpillar, proven in thousands of machines over millions of operating hours. Now, that means that these new machines are based on the same proven building block technologies, fuel delivery, electronics, air management, and combustion design, all optimized to work together. The new engine and after-treatment packages even fit into the same space. About the only change to the outside of most Caterpillar machines is the blue filler cap for the uh, diesel exhaust fluid, which is used to reduce NOx emissions. So diesel exhaust fluid is new? Yep, yep. Uh, diesel exhaust fluid and the selective catalytic reduction system have both been added to all equipment with engines between 175 and 750 horsepower. And just those two things made it possible to cut NOx emissions. Tier 4 final engines are tuned to produce low levels of particulate matter, and the after-treatment system is focused on NOx reduction. But emissions are just one part of the story. The newest CAT equipment delivers the performance we need more efficiently than ever, which means we get the job done right and control our owning and operating cost. The benefits uh, go straight to the bottom line. I tell you, I really do like this new CAD equipment. Uh, I mean, I know they were designed to, to meet the requirements for the new T4 final, but uh, they still have the power and the reliability that you depend on when you think Caterpillar. And they're more efficient, too. More efficient? Yeah, that's right, that's right. We may not speak of it in terms like we used to, but, uh, well, let's take fluid efficiency, for example. Don't you mean fuel efficiency? Not anymore. Fluid efficiency accounts for both fuel and diesel exhaust fluid. You can't forget the DEF. Now, new cat machines do use less fuel than the previous models, and, and that's great, especially in countries with high fuel costs. But you still have to add in DEF to account for your total fluid costs. 
Now here's the really good news. Take a tier four interim machine with a full tank of diesel. Now compare it to a new machine with a full tank of diesel and a full tank of DEF. On average, the new cap machine will use up to 5% less fluid to do the same work as earlier machines. 5% less? Yep, yep, and up to 8% less diesel fuel. Oh, you're gonna love running these machines, buddy, I can tell. Man, I love that new cab smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do too. I do too, Edgar. Now, I noticed some new lamps here. What do I need to know about them? Well, you're looking at the lamps that have to do with the after-treatment system. And, of course, you recognize the regeneration lamp there, having run a Tier 4 interim machine before. Yes, there's regeneration process, regeneration needed, and regeneration disabled. Exactly. And then, of course, there's the, the, the DEF uh, gauge, fuel gauge there. So, pretty proud of you there, Edgar. You, you're doing good, son. You learned more than you thought you did, didn't you? Now, these other lamps will illuminate if there's uh, any emission systems fault or engine or after treatment fault or if the DEF tank gets low on diesel exhaust fluid. The good news is you probably won't have to worry about these lamps, especially if your machine is set to regenerate automatically and you fill the DEF or diesel exhaust fluid tank at the same time that you fuel up. That is good news. It is. I, I can't emphasize how important it is to know your lamps, Edgar. It really is important. I would highly recommend learning this card right here. It's got all the details for you. Danny, can we go back and talk about regeneration for a bit? I know how it worked for Tier 4 interim. What's different with Tier 4 final equipment? Well, you, uh, you remember when we were talking about the regeneration with those Tier 4 interim machines? I know that, that probably seems like uh, forever and a day ago. It sure does. Well, regeneration works to control soot the same way in Tier 4 final engines. Uh, the difference is the system doesn't have to work nearly as hard because the engine has been tuned to reduce particulate matter before it ever gets to the after treatment system. Okay. Here's the difference in Tier 4 final machines. The regeneration system is used to warm up the after treatment package. So you may notice regeneration beginning right after you start the machine. It's also used to maintain the system and to clean up any urea deposits. It's running not to remove soot, but to warm up the, the new selective catalytic reduction system. The same technology, but a, a little brand new use for it. I'd say that's pretty smart, wouldn't you? What, uh, what else can I help uh, clarify for you? 